Hello, my name's Ian Corrigan and I'm one of the organisers of the Three Gun Nation North vs South match. I'm based up in Rossdale uh, in Manchester and I'm organising the match up in the North. And we've had a number of questions about how the match works. And so in order to coordinate with Kentucky Firearms Club down in Bisley, um, we're putting together a little video in order to explain how Three Gun works. So obviously it involves using three guns, a shotgun, a rifle and a pistol. Um, we've got a stage here from uh, a classifier match in the, in the States using pistol, rifle and shotgun. It's a relatively straightforward stage in respect there's not an awful lot of movement. Uh, all of the shooting is done from the shooting box at the bottom of, this, of the uh, page. Um, the pistol targets are the poppers, so that's the pepper poppers. The shotgun targets are the clays, which are on the far left and far right of the, uh, the stage. And the rifle targets are the paper targets. Um, we have a picture of a rifle target here for you to have a look at. As you can see, the, the match is shot by shooting the targets, putting the gun away, and then shooting the next sets of targets with the correct firearm. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the IPSC targets, with the Alpha, the Charlie, and the Delta, uh, or perhaps figure 11s. Um, three gun targets are much more straightforward. Uh, the points are scored by getting either one shot in the red or two in the black. I'm not going to cover the scoring uh, in any detail in this video, however, suffice to say, uh, you want to shoot the targets as quickly as possible. Uh, misses will incur a time penalty, um, including failure to engage you, so not shooting at a target. Uh, and then any procedurals, perhaps, for example, standing outside of that box, uh, would result in a time penalty as well. Uh, as you can see in the top right hand corner, uh, it misses and failure to gauge is minus 5 seconds and procedurals are minus 10. Bearing in mind that a really good shooter could probably shoot this stage in about 20 seconds um, or maybe 30 seconds depending if it's uh, if they're going to be using a rifle, you'd understand that uh, a time penalty such as plus 5 seconds could really make a difference. So on to equipment. Now the vast majority of shooters that will be shooting these three gun matches will have had experience of shooting practical shotgun, uh, the IPSC, NRA, um, shooting at shield with four islands etc. I do recommend that you google and have a look at some of the videos of Three Gun Nation um, understand a little bit better how the transitions work, how the stages are broken down there will be uh, training in advance of the matches and stage briefs um, however the biggest and most common question that we're getting at the moment is on equipment uh, and especially this is needed to know the answers to this before we start the matches so I've put together a little video to explain uh, some of the equipment that we'll be using in the UK and how the divisions work and how the belt systems and the rig work. So here's my three gun rig. Uh, it's made up of a uh, SPAS-12 shotgun um, which is semi and pump action. Uh, we've got a, a M&P 1522 made by Smith & Wesson which is a 2-2 long rifle. Uh, rifle. As you know it have, has um, an optic on it and I've got a GSG 1911, the sort of second variant of that uh, as my pistol. Now it's not necessary to shoot three gun with three guns. Contrary to popular belief, you can still shoot it with uh, two guns, effectively using the rifle uh, as part of the uh, stage that would also be using the pistol. So effectively, rather than transitioning from pistol to rifle, you just keep shooting your rifle all the way through. Um, I've also included my belt here just to give a little bit of an overview of the kind of uh, sort of things you might need on your belt. Um, as Three gun uh, or multi gun uh, shoots uh, sort of two different types of gun or three different types of gun. Then you find that the ammunition requirements that you would have in sort of practical shotgun, um, you know, large belts, 30, 40 rounds worth, uh, are not really needed here because you'll be shooting two or three different types of gun in the same stage and therefore you're only going to be needing uh, perhaps one reload on the shotgun uh, or perhaps one or two reloads on a pistol or the rifle and hence it is a requirement to carry a little bit less there. So I received quite a few questions from people interested in shooting the three gun but concerned about what's needed for their belt equipment. Uh, these are sort of practical shooters already uh, but they're getting a little bit sort of tied up in knots over what do you need to carry on your belt, what can you carry on your belt. Well I've got a, a two-part belt so it's uh, one of the inner and outer belts. Um, now these are very useful because they're able to use the belt, this sort of soft uh, velcro on the 
on your trousers so that would be like a normal belt being inside the loops of your trousers and then the uh, velcro outer so you can feel on the outside of that that's kind of velcro um, is uh, sort of sticks to the inner belt and that means that you've got a very secure uh, belt nothing's going to be moving uh, specifically the holster for your pistol so your pistols are on your hip and it's not going to be sort of sliding around uh, sort of towards your back or towards your front uh, which where it could be a danger so that's why I use that kind of belt but it's not actually essential in uh, three gun shooting or multi gun shooting to have uh, an inner and outer belt they're preferred when you're shooting in the States and in fact sometimes they're mandatory especially in IPSIC competitions but uh, here we're not going to insist on that um, but what we will insist on is that the, the holster, the pistol holster, is in a secure position at belt level. So that's not using a, a, a leg rig or uh, having something that might be wandering around. If we're concerned that your, your pistol might be on the move, uh, then we'll be telling you about it and we'll just insist that the pistol is starts in a grounded position. Okay, so looking at what I've got on my belt, there's not actually a need to have an awful lot of ammunition on your belt. You see, the, the guns will be starting in a, in a loaded capacity uh, in their relevant positions so if you're shooting so let's say pistol first uh, then shotgun then rifle uh, your pistol will be on your hip you'll load it with a magazine um, and then you'll be shooting uh, the pistol you'll be grounding the pistol picking up the shotgun uh, shooting the shotgun um, and then shoot, grounding the shotgun and picking up the rifle so it's only necessary to carry on your belt the ammunition that you're going to require in addition to the start position of the gun, so effectively, if you've got uh, if shooting, uh, which is you know which is known as practical as the new three gun rules, or known as uh, tack optics or tack irons, so this is a sort of standard capacity shotgun. That'll be eight plus one. So it's really only necessary to have a bit extra here. And as the stages are multi gun stages. You can understand that you're not going to spend all your time just shooting shotgun shells out of your gun and then sort of neglecting the other the other uh, sort of uh, calibers. So on this, I, I carry that. I'll load from a box or from a pocket to load the gun up in advance. And then I've got my speed loaders here ready to go. These are made by AP Custom. Um, there's also uh, other sort of versions available, of course. Um, as far as the pistol is concerned, I've got a, a Ghost uh, holder, uh, which I find very, very good. Uh, it's great at holding the pistol. Um, it can break out forwards or it can be pulled upwards. Uh, there's no sort of bottom part to it, so it's very good for the um, the UK sort of requirements of having a longer barrel and having the uh, the um, sort of part on the back. Um, so I find these very, very good. Uh, I got that from um, AW Armoury. Um, and we've also got uh, some holders, so, so basically magazine holders um, for the 2-2 uh, rifle. Um, these are also ghost uh, individuals, they can sort of clock around, makes it easy to sort of uh, position for a quick grab, but it's not essential, you can get sort of very cheap, uh, simple holders, uh, holsters for your um, uh, magazines uh, on eBay. So the little plastic ones, such as sort of this sort of style, uh, are quite good as well. And then finally I've got um, a magazine uh, for my rifle which is held in a California competition works. Um, again it's only one magazine because it's, uh, it's 25 rounds in the mags. Uh, it's unlikely I'm going to be requiring any more than 25 rounds unless things fundamentally go wrong. So uh, I don't actually need to carry that much on my belt. As I say uh, the only real need here uh, is when you're reloading uh, in, an, an, in and over above what you've already shot from the magazine capacity of the gun as it, as it came. Uh, you know, so it's on its stage, so effectively you shot more than 8 plus 1 or 9, if you like, um, you only need to sort of reload a bit extra. So there's not absolutely essential that you've got an awful lot on your belt. If you're shooting uh, two gun, then uh, holster's not needed, pistol holsters aren't needed, you need somewhere to stick a spare magazine and some shot shell holders. If you're shooting the section 2 then you're obviously going to need an awful lot more uh, shotgun uh, capacity but again sort of the standard belts are plenty useful for this, chest rigs as well are acceptable um, so there's no need to have a, a big complicated uh, rig uh, to shoot this. So, quick word on divisions then. Uh, there's a little bit of a sort of confusion over the new terminology you find in 3-gun. Um, so, 
originally the uh, divisions were referred to as open, TAC optics and TAC irons. That's now been changed to unlimited and practical um, and practical optics. So we've got uh, a shotgun here. Shotgun is an 8 plus 1 shotgun. It can take more uh, but the uh, competition uh, start position requires that it's got 8 plus 1. Um, depending on the stage brief that might be uh, 9 in the tube uh, and then the gun is empty uh, so the chamber is empty so also known as IPSIC option 2 or it could be a case that the, it's got alien it just depends on the stage brief uh, and the particular sort of stage design of that that specific match um, the rifle uh, so this is a 15-22 so a 2 2 long rifle uh, it has an optic on it so therefore if I was shooting in 2 gun uh, or if I added a pistol as well um, I'd be shooting in tack optics or if you like practical optics the, the reason that this is uh, optics uh, division is because it has a, a magnified optic that's a one to four uh, magnifier on it if we change that out uh, and put a red dot that's not magnified uh, so perhaps um, just you know simple doctor sight or any of the any of the types of sights you might have that don't magnify then that would class as irons so even though it has a sight on it uh, as long as it's not a magnified sight you're fine um, now this rifle uh, you might notice it has a, uh, a little sort of attachment there so it could theoretically take a, a little red dot for up close and then uh, the main sight could be sort of dialed in for four times uh, magnification so you can have two sights on this rifle. If you had two sights on it which is a very good idea uh, that would then put you in into unlimited. So to stay in this sort of more traditional category um, you've got a, a situation where you have to have one sight on the gun if it's got an optic it's got glass and it magnifies uh, therefore you're in tack optics if you've got a just a red dot then you're in tack irons shotgun wise uh, that can also change your division so uh, in this instance we've got a spas 12 it's a pump or semi if for example it was a shotgun uh, that requires uh, has a magazine uh, capacity uh, so perhaps a Sega or a Bora so you've got a detachable magazine the presence of the magazine automatically puts you into unlimited or open if you like so um, often the uh, so something's misunderstood is that the rifle or the shotgun can determine whether or not uh, you're going to be in uh, your standard attack uh, uh, divisions or whether or not in open so same rifle replace the shotgun with a with a, a, belt, a box fed gun then you're in open uh, take away the box fed at the site that puts you into open um, it's all very clear in the rules that uh, we're publishing uh, around the place these are standard three gun rules uh, obviously modified for local variances because you haven't got 556 five, uh, center fire rifles or nine mils um, and it's also sort of published on the um, uh, the joining instructions so if you're going to be sending off your form to us it's at the bottom of there so you can choose which division you want to shoot in hopefully that's helpful if you've got any questions just send them through to the Facebook page and we're more than happy to answer um, and that's uh, that's it thank you very much